All right, now we're here at the third section, and uh, this is the, the one where you have to actually use the formula. So I'm, I'm going to set up the formula. I'm going to grab my, my handy-dandy phone and use it as a calculator. I'm going to see if, if there's any way to, to simplify my, my, my ratio here to make life a little bit easier, but if not, we'll figure it out. Anyway, this says find the length of the, of, of the arc. And remember, to find the length of the arc, we need to know what the radius is. So in 15, it says find the length of arc LM all from here to here um, if, if the radius is 5 inches. And so I'm going to set up my, my length formula here. I'm going to say the length is equal to... Uh, from here to here, it's, it's designated 100 degrees out of 360 degrees. And then uh, da, 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 multiply by 2 times pi times 5. And oh, we did this yesterday. So we can sort of cheat, except the ratio is different. So I know this answer, but I don't know that answer. But it'll be a little bit easier. So my, the first thing that I always do is I simplify this. And I know that 2 times 5 is 10. And then 10 times any number just means we have a decimal. We move the decimal over one place. So 2 times 5 is 10, times 3.14 is 31.4. And you can use your calculator to do it. That won't, be, that won't hurt my feelings at all. And then you can just do 100 over 360. And then just do our regular fractional multiplication. And so 100 times 31.4 is 3140 divided by 360. And that's where, that's where our, our, our actual calculator is going to have to come in handy if you haven't been able to do anything. If you've been able to use mental math for everything else, this is where we're going to actually have to use the calculator. So 3140 divided by 360. And I get uh, 8.72, and that 2 is repeating. Um, and then that makes <clears throat> perfect sense. And I want to show you why that makes perfect sense. Um, if our total circumference, because that's what we found here, that's the total distance in inches around this circle, if this indeed is 5 inches. Um, if the total distance around the circle is 31 inches, then this measure right here, which isn't even half, it's just a little more than a quarter. So 100 is just a little bit more than 90. So we know that 90 is one quarter way around the circle. So we say, yeah, this is sort of right on the money. Because if this were 32, then a quarter would be 8. And using our, our estimation in our brain, this, this seems like a very reasonable answer. And if it comes out to be like, like 19 or, or, or 20, and you see that it's not even halfway around and 20 is way too big, well, then you can go back and see where you might have made a mistake. And so using your, your, your estimation, your powers of estimation, um, might be helpful in this situation. So this seems like a reasonable answer to me. I'm good with this. I'm going to do one more video to show you one last version of this. Okay?